Hey there everyone. Um I want to show you today I want to show you a really easy way to move objects around. Well, more of more than one object. As you can see here, I have this the project file open from our lightsaber that we created in the previous tutorial. Now, if I want to move this lightsaber around, I have to, I'd have to select all the single parts like the grip and the two beams on every side. And that can get pretty annoying after some time. So, I want to show you a really easy way to do this. So, we're going to going to top you with the 7 on our numpad with the 7 on our numpad I'm going to click over here check to see if that really is the same height that doesn't really matter where I put it but it's close to the light there would be perfect then I go well left mouse button cl left click on that yeah left click where you want to put the cursor then hey, I hit space add I'm going to add an empty object now we're going to um, parent the whole lightsaber to this empty object so that if we uh, move the empty object, the lightsaber will automatically follow. So we just have to select one object and move that around or rotate that or do whatever. So now if I deselect all, I have to make the parent. So I go into box select and select the whole lightsaber. Now the plane is also selected so we're going to have to deselect the plane by holding shift and right mouse clicking on the plane until it's deselected. And that's normally two clicks on mine. I don't know why, but I don't really care that much. Then once the whole lightsaber is selected, we can select the um, empty object with the shift right mouse click. So now we've got it selected. Blender knows in what um, that we first selected the lightsaber, now the empty object. Now we click on Control P, make parent, click OK. Now the empty object is already the parent. That's all there is to it. I'm going to switch to camera view with this zero on my numpad. I can select the empty object, and when I move the empty object around, look, the whole lightsaber is moving. Only the whole lightsaber, nothing else, just the lightsaber and all the parts to it. That's really cool. And if I go into side view with a three, I can click on R to rotate, and I can rotate the whole lightsaber just by rotating that empty object. Isn't that cool? It surely is. That concludes our tutorial for today. Thanks for watching.